Today, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious pork bulgogi at home, including this easy bulgogi marinade, and how to make this charred grilled pork just like at your local Korean barbecue restaurant. And watch to the end so I can show you how to make pork bulgogi lettuce wrap. Oh yeah, you definitely don't want to miss out on eating this. 오늘의 레시피 집에서 맛있는 기사 식당 돼지 불백 만들기 오늘도 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다 This with rice together <gasps> So good Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다 to make our pork bulgogi, we are using about 600 grams of sliced pork. You can use any cut of the pork except for pork belly. Pork belly is a little too fatty for this dish, but I will do a separate video on pork belly marinade. And in a bowl of cold water, we're gonna dunk our thinly sliced pork meat. So for this dish, you could use the cheapest cut you can find, whatever you got, okay? And just separate it a little bit and let our cork sliced meat kind of like untangle itself. And already it's drawing out the extra blood, but we're gonna let this rest for about 15 minutes. And 15 minutes later, Look how much blood it pulled out from our pork meat. So this is ready to go to the sink. Pour into a strainer like that. Then I want you to pick it up and just shake it a little bit, not much. I don't want you to squeeze the pork, okay? Just toss it a few times like that. And then we're gonna put it in our bowl and let this hang out while we get the marinade ready. Okay, to make our marinade, our yang yum jang, we're gonna add a quarter cup of jin kanjang. That's jin soy sauce. If you can't get this, just use all purpose soy sauce. And to this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of pureed or grated onion, white onion. And then I have one tablespoon of garlic that I pureed. If you want your food to taste good, make sure to use fresh garlic. Don't use those garlic that comes pre-chopped in a jar. And then I have one tablespoon of brown sugar. And then I have half a tablespoon of denjang. That's Korean soybean paste. Adding denjang will make your food taste really, really good. And then I have one scallion that I chopped up that we're gonna add to this. And then I have a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. And we're gonna add one tablespoon of mirum. Now, if you don't have mirum, mix equal parts of water and fresh lemon juice and add a tablespoon of that. We're gonna add some black pepper. I would say a big pinch, about a quarter teaspoon, like so. And then we're gonna add meshuk chang. We're gonna add two tablespoons of meshuk chang. This is fermented plum and sugar. If you don't have measured chung, you could add pureed sweet apple or pear. Just use any apple or pear that's ripe and sweet. And all we have to do now is just mix everything up. Oh, this smells so good already. Ooh. So just make sure everything is mixed in well. Break up our tenjang, our garlic. All right, so let's have a taste of our marinade, okay? Mmm, so many flavors. It's so delicious. So right now, it should be salty. That's normal. The sweetness should be subtle. So this is not meant to be a sweet marinade, but if you like it sweeter, add more sugar. The raw bitter taste that you're tasting right now, that's all gonna subside. That's the raw taste of the garlic and the ginger and the onions that we added. But boy, boy, like now, the aftertaste of the marinade in my mouth is just, whoa, it's just like taking over more. Oh yeah, this is really yummy. In literally like what, five minutes, it pulled out enough water. So all we have to do now is just put this in our marinade bowl. And then we're just gonna add one pinch of salt to our pork. And then I want you to just tear up your kogi, so you don't have to put it on your cutting board. So this is so thin that you could just tear it up so that it becomes bite-sized. It looks like everything's torn up. So all you have to do is just go in and mix everything up. What I would recommend is transferring our seasoned pork 
into a glass container and then just pack it down gently like that. And then make sure to get all of our marinade out of our mixing bowl and into our glass container. And then what you wanna do is take a piece of plastic wrap, put it on our pork. It's like our night-night blanket. I want you to gently press it down so all the air bubbles are released and then tuck this in. And using a wet paper towel, I just want you to go around the rim and just clean it. It's like one of my pet peeves and the rim, so it's nice and clean. Then we're gonna put our cover on it like this. Now, if you're in a pinch, let this sit on your kitchen counter for a good 30 minutes to 45 minutes. But if you want to make it taste better, keep it in the fridge for 48 hours. Yep, if you wait 48 hours, it will taste much better. It has been 48 hours, so let's take a look. It smells really good. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna let this guy sit on our kitchen counter for about 10 minutes before we start grilling on our frying pan. We also need some onion. We need half of a medium-sized onion. And we're gonna use these onions when we pan grill our bulgogi. Set your stove heat to high and place your heavy bottom frying pan and let this preheat for a good minute to two minutes. Once your frying pan is preheated, I want you to add a generous amount of oil, about a good tablespoon. And then we're gonna add our pork. So you should hear that sizzling sound when the pork hits the frying pan. If you don't hear that sound, you need to preheat your frying pan a little bit longer. And then quickly, I want you to spread the pork evenly in your pan like that. Shift the pan around to redistribute the oil. I want you to leave it alone for a good three to four minutes. Do not touch it. Don't do anything, just leave it alone. And then about two minutes later, you'll notice all this liquid coming out. This is excellent, just leave it alone. It's been a little bit over four minutes on high heat, and let's take a peek. Oh yeah, so we want this color. So you wanna keep on going until you get this nice golden brown color to your pork. And then quickly, I want you to go in and just basically flip everything over. So this part goes super fast. And you see this right here? I want you to take a piece of your pork and basically mop it off. Like that. All that stuff on the side wall is gonna be so yummy. So just wipe the wall like that. And then I want you to lower your heat to medium. Then add the onions. Now this part's optional. You don't have to add this if you don't want to, but add one tablespoon of butter. And then we're just gonna mix this all up quickly. About a minute later, look, this is all done. So we're gonna turn the heat off completely and let's have a quick taste test. I'm having mine with a piece of onion. Mm. Wow, it tastes so tender and it doesn't have that um, heavy pork taste which I love. It's like slightly garlicky, but salty, but a little, little tiny taste of sweetness. It's not sweet tasting. And then the onions just made it like really refreshing. This is gonna be so good with rice and kimchi alone or with lettuce wrap. If you wanna take this to another level of deliciousness like restaurant good, you could add half a teaspoon of sogogi dashita, that's beef bouillon powder, but I'm not gonna add it because right now this is so good the way it is, so why mess with it? Quickly transfer this to a plate. Ooh. Does this look good? <laughs> I'm so hungry. Wow. And then all you have to do is just add a little bit of scallions on top and a little bit of kesogum, that's sesame seeds with crushed salt, like that. And voila, this is done. Just with rice alone, this will be a happy meal. Make sure to have it with the caramelized onions because the onions are still crunchy, juicy, but has that sweet taste that is so good together with our pork. And here is a nice piece right there. 
And then, of course, everything is better with a piece of kimchi on top like that. I am going to feed you. Here we go. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Open wide. <laughs> Just make it at home and enjoy it. It's so yummy. Bon appetit. I've been drooling in my mouth like while filming this. Mmm. Mmm. This with rice together. <gasps> So good. You can make it with the toughest, cheapest cut of pork, okay? And this dish is so popular because it's inexpensive compared to beef bulgogi. And if you remember watching Parasite, the Korean movie that won all the Oscars one year, the family goes out to eat at a taxi restaurant. So in Korea, there are restaurants that are specifically geared towards serving the taxi driver's community. They are inexpensive or compared to other restaurants and super tasty. And this is one of the popular dishes at Kisa Shikdang, that's what it's called. When you have any kind of meat or grilled chicken or grilled fish, we always like to wrap it in lettuce wrap. And especially during the summer months, this lettuce wrap called Sangchu Sam is what we eat on a regular basis because it's filling so much vegetables. It's just healthy and it's super yum. So let me show you how to make this. So we're gonna add a, just a small amount, less than a bite size of Korean rice right in the center. And then we're gonna take some of our pork bulgogi and of course some of the onions. Ooh, the onions make it so yummy. And then our samjang. This is our must-have dipping condiment and I have a recipe for this, so the video is linked below. And then our pamuchim goes right on top, like that. So pamuchim takes your lettuce wrap to another level. This is really easy to make too and I just did a recipe on that, so check it out. Now fold this over in half like that and then you take this side, you push it, hold it, pull the other side, push it and hold it and you wrap it tight, 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 tight so that it goes into your mouth like that. It looks big on the screen right now, but it's not. It's like perfect bite size. Happy lettuce wrap time at home. Mm. Individual serving of delicious salad with this delicious pork protein. I mean, it's probably less calories than having your traditional American salad because the salad dressings, oh, it's so good, but it's so loaded with so many calories. Don't go anywhere. I want you to go to youtube.com slash modern pepper, click on the playlist tab, and from there you'll see Korean barbecue recipe playlist. Check it out so you could have more Korean barbecue time at home and impress your friends, family, and yourself. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching today and if you enjoyed watching today's video, I want to kindly ask you to click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼도 꼭 눌러주세요. Alright folks, I will see you in one of these videos right here.